She lived the life the way she wanted to And made her dreams come true Hello beautiful Sagittarius, I'm Trini And welcome to your general tarot reading For Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus For the month of August we're going to take a look at everything, spiritual guidance, overall energy, I'll lay a Celtic cross spread for you. I'll also um, pull some cards for love and money and we'll close with a spirit animal card. I love to do that because it lets you know what energy is coming to you to support you at this time. Now, before we start pulling cards, I love to play a healing tone to raise your vibration so that you're open to receive all of the wonderful messages that universe has for you. So beautiful Sagittarius. Go ahead and take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Release any tension that you feel in your body. Allow any fears, doubts, or worries to melt away. Now that this is your time, I see truth, I hear truth. I know truth and I speak truth. So must it be on all dimensions. Ashe. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get into it and see what messages are coming through to you for the month of August. All right, so we've got a manifestation card that says, trust all will be well. So divine is saying that you've been working really hard. You've been working really, 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 really hard, Sagittarius. Now it's time to trust that that hard work is going to produce those benefits and those manifestations that you have been working for. It's time to take a deep breath and then take another one and then close your eyes and then do something fun for yourself. Do something that feels good. Just rest, you know, and trust that all will be well. All right. Um, let's see what goddess energy is coming to you. Okay, you've got two. All right, siege, quiet time. Well, that goes right along with trust that all will be well. Divine is being very um, clear about that. It says take some quiet time alone to rest, to meditate, and to contemplate. So think about what it is that you really want. What is it that feels good to you? Um, and honor that, honor what comes to you, okay? Honor what it is that you're very passionate about. Um, you've also got Hathor, which is about receptiv receptivity, receptivity. <laughs> Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, your energy, and your ability to give to others. So you may have been in a mode where you're doing, 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 going, moving forward, moving past, da 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 And I feel like that's why Divine is saying to pause, to stop and just take time for yourself. And it's not something that should be just one and done where you take a day. Let's say you take a day off and you do all the things that you've been wanting to do and you nurture your energy and you're feeling like a million bucks. That's great, but you're going to need to put some of that um, time or schedule that time to rest into your schedule more often because I feel like overall you've been pushing yourself very, very hard, okay? So Divine says it's time to rest. It's time. Let's take a look at shadow work. What might be coming up um, or what? is already here as far as shadow work is concerned melting mask allow your spirit self to shine through the many roles that you fulfill see and that's so that's so in alignment with what we were saying there where divine is saying receive allow yourself to receive because you're giving a lot you're doing a lot and so it's time for you to absorb energy now for you to be nurtured, for you to allow yourself to be taken care of. And don't just allow yourself to be taken care of. Know that you deserve it. Be adamant about, yes, I'm, I am experiencing this greatness right now because I deserve this. Ashe, let's, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> 
I'm here for it. And divine really wants you to vibrate on that frequency where you're just like, you know that it's what's for you to be nurtured. And you don't always have to be the one that's taking care of everyone else, okay? Okay, I'm going to lay a Celtic cross spread for you. Um, <laughs> I've seen that card tonight. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. A couple of these cards are coming through again. I feel like similar messages are coming through for my fire signs tonight. That's cool. We are a collective, you know. All right, four more cards for beautiful Sagittarius. One, <laughs> two, three, and four. Okay, I have some extras in there. All right, so for your current situation, you've got seven of wands. So I feel like there is, um, there's something that you feel like you need to protect yourself from. You are feeling like you need to guard yourself against a certain energy or a certain person. Now this is in conflict with temperance. Um, and so I feel like there's someone around you that's been shaking you to the point where you feel out of balance. You feel like you're not able to manifest what you want because there's there's opposing energy. There are opposing forces around you. And Divine says that first and foremost, realize that that opposing energy is nothing personal. Is nothing personal. It's just that your frequency is so beautiful and so strong that some people immediately when they see you, when they encounter your energy, they feel threatened. Um, and so if anything, allow this opposition to motivate you to move in a direction of bettering yourself and of acknowledging how amazing you are. Because your energy is really beautiful and it shines very brightly. So it attracts a lot of people and sometimes that gets eyes on you, which you're like, okay, that's cool, but then don't mistreat me. If you're looking at me, if you're admiring, admiring me, cool, but sometimes there have been, there's been jealousy that's been directed your way. Um, now this has brought some self-doubt. With this Two of Swords as your basis, Divine is saying that you're in a place now where you are to overcome your self-doubt. There's no need for anyone else's disapproval or um, their unwillingness to understand you or to connect with you or to recognize your greatness because they see it, they know it, but they might not always give you credit for it. So just because they act in that way does not mean that you are not worthy. It doesn't mean that you should doubt yourself. It doesn't mean that you should second guess yourself. So the events that you're experiencing now that, that are coming up in August, it's all about helping you to see the value of really valuing who you are, no matter what anybody has to say, okay? For your past, you've got the fool. I feel like there was something that you started where you stepped you stepped into a new direction and you were like, this is where I'm going. This is where I'm headed. And it may have been scary for you. I feel like for some of you, this was a result of experiencing so much frustration where you were like, I got to do something different. And so divine is saying to honor your willingness to move in a new direction because that takes, um, self-love which i just want to say is your outcome you got ace of cups so for some of you this is about a new love situation but for all of you because ace of cups is always about well i'll say ace of cups in this reading is about you really knowing that you deserve the goodness that comes to you in your life and you're loving yourself and you're giving yourself the time that you need to um, to feel 
and to cherish those moments in your life and to enjoy life. Now that full card in your past has led to the King of Pentacles in your present. So right now you are in a state where you're ready to manifest. Like, um, and this is not just something that is here today, gone tomorrow with King of Pentacles energy. You are most certainly manifesting things that are here to stay. And so it is stable. It is something that will benefit you for many, many, many years to come. You're building a legacy. Okay. Um, for your power, you have the hanged man. So you have the power right now to see things from a different perspective. You have the power to... Um, to have patience because the hanged man is also about waiting. It's about not necessarily moving forward, full speed ahead. It's just like, let's take some time to breathe. Let's take some time to rest with that quiet time card. Um, let's take some time to reju reju rejuvenate, you know? Let's take some time to receive some goodness instead of always being the one to give it, you are also allowing yourself to receive it. For the people around you, you have the emperor. So there's someone around you with very stable energy who will be able to um, hold your hand through something. I feel like this is financially related, but for some of you, this is emotional support. But I see them as the emperor because they are so stable and they are, um, they've been through some things that you are now going through. And so they have some sage wisdom and advice that if you open up to, to receive that with that receptivity card, you'll, you'll definitely benefit from it in a big way. Okay. So yeah. And it doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you've met in person. It could be someone who has a lot of wisdom or advice in your career field or someone that you've come across on the internet or someone that you it could even be somebody that you just met at the grocery store and y'all were chatting it up standing in line like it could be anyone um but they will give you some sage advice about a struggle or a conflict that you have been facing okay now for your hopes and fears you have the king of wands I feel like Sagittarius, I feel like there is this um, this fear that you've been feeling of not moving at the right pace or not having, not taking the initiative that's needed in order for you to succeed. And Divine is saying that you are a natural born leader. You may not realize that. You may have felt um, doubtful about your abilities to lead but you are a natural born leader. So there's no need for fear. And when you fear, you know, of course, that's just going to manifest those things that you are pushing so hard against. So just allow it to flow. Just say, you know what? I am who I am and I do what I do. And I am going to take this moment right now that I am presented with and I'm going to savor it. I'm going to enjoy it in some way. Even if it's closing your eyes and going to sleep, you're enjoying that. You know, you, you can allow yourself to receive that energy of rest and relaxation. Just enjoy the moment. And then for your outcome, like I shared with you before, you've got Ace of Cups. So for some of you, this is about a new start in love. Um, I see a romantic interest entering the scene. So we'll take a look at love. But for many of you, or for all of you, for anyone listening to this message, know that your outcome is where you know, the universe is guiding you in a direction of loving yourself and putting yourself first on so many levels. And it's not, it's not selfish to do that. It is natural. And so that love that you give yourself is going to produce many blessings for you in other areas of your, of your life. Okay. All right, let's take a look at love and see what's coming through for beautiful sad. Oh, ooh la la. Mm. <laughs> I 
Okay, so you've got deeper intimacy. I love this card because I maybe it's because I'm a cancer, but I'm all about intimacy and a love that nurtures you and 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 you feel nurtured and it just. You know, it's on a deeper level. It's not always about sex. It's about connection. But this is really cool because your outcome for your um, Celtic Crossbred was Ace of Cups. Because even in a relationship where there's lots of connection and intimacy and nurturance, the only way that that can truly happen in a very meaningful, sustainable way is for it to be based on self-love. So by you nurturing your self-love, you are automatically going to manifest and create these situations in your life where it's like, yes, I'm, I'm here for it. Let's connect. Let's really be in tune with one another on a deep level. Now, you've also got harvest. So um, you planted the seed that the universe gave you. Due to your patience and growth, you are now able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So you are harvesting deeper intimacy. I feel like for some of you, there may be a temporary um, delay to this. Or you may feel like this is what you want, but it just hasn't manifested yet. I do feel like for some of you, there's some clearing work that needs to be done whether it is, for some of you, I see that there's a lot of um, seeking advice from other people. And what Spirit is saying is that some of these people or a person that you're seeking advice from, they may not have your best interest at heart. They may be advising you because it feeds their ego to do that. Okay, so beware of the advice that you're taking in and from whom? Who are you asking advice from? Do they really want you to do well? Or is it that they just feel like they are the know-it-all because they're giving you information or giving you their take? Okay, so beware of that. Um, another thing, Divine is saying that for some of you, it's just about getting out. You have wanted to manifest this uh, deep connection, this deeper intimacy with a, a person, with your person. But what's been getting in the way is self-doubt. Um, thinking that it can't happen. Thinking that it won't happen. Or thinking that you are not able to access whatever it is that you need in order to find this person to meet this person divine is saying that when the time is right you are going to connect so you don't have to doubt that there's no energy that needs to be given to any thoughts of self-doubt the only thing you need to think about is where do you want to go to have fun where do you want to go to um get out there and meet others where do you want to go what do you want to do what is it that makes you that fulfills you and that fills your cup think about filling your cup and then the manifestation of what you want and what you need is going to come through because you've already done the work and so the rest is just about for those of you who have not made that connection yet it's just about being at the right place at the right time opening up to getting to know that person that maybe you're not initially physically attracted to, but there could be something deeper there that's so much more valuable. Okay. All right, let's take a look at career. Ooh. And okay, Spirit has a lot to say about career. <laughs> All right, so. All right, what I'm getting is that there is luck that's coming your way. However, it requires another outlook. It requires, um, like, there are opportunities and options. You've got luck, outlook, and options. But what's needed is the ability to see opportunities where perhaps you haven't seen them before. 
maybe putting yourself out there doing something i feel like there's something that universe is guiding you to try or to do that is a little bit uncomfortable for you but it's just getting over the hump and then once you experience it and get into it you're going to find that it's not painful anymore and it is fruitful for you so look for options where you perhaps have not wanted to see them before and be aware of the outlook that you're having on your finances and on opportunities that are around you because i feel like there's something around you that's going to help you and support you with your career and finances and creative endeavors but you've sort of written it off as something that would not be for you i feel like that comes from a place of self-doubt it might be something that you've been afraid to try or that you've been afraid to move forward with but you can you can do it um this is about justice as well finding balance in your life with your career um and also this is mostly about finding balance between your quiet time and your ability to receive and to rest and relax versus that energy of you moving forward with your goals so August is going to be a month of balance for you. Also, Divine is saying that there is going to be an unexpected opportunity for you to achieve this balance. So this could present itself in like the form of a challenge. Um, it may be that, um, you know, it's like your job tells you that you need to be here at a certain time, but you also need to be somewhere else at a certain time for your family or for yourself. Maybe it's a doctor's appointment and you've made this commitment for yourself, but your job is putting pressure on you to, well, this is all about balance. You are going to have opportunities where you will be able to gather the strength and the courage to say, I'm gonna put me first, okay? So, Yes, opportunities to do that and to um, put yourself first. To put yourself first. All right. You have, and a couple came out, but this is the one. This is the one. Um, you've got the Griffin card for spirit animal. This is the energy that's coming to you to support you. And it says balance, which we just talked about. Achieving that balance in your life. Clarity and spiritual enlightenment, okay? So let's see how this Griffin spirit is supporting you. You are being guided to find the harmonic balance of your mind, body, and soul. The abundance that you seek already exists within you. Oh, you are strong, independent, and fearless. Take flight and achieve what you desire. So as you move forward, put yourself first, love on yourself, and um, yeah, keep your commitments that you've made to yourself, those appointments that you need to make for your health, for your well-being. Those things are so important and don't let anybody anybody tell you that that's not a priority okay all right beautiful Sagittarius I hope that this reading was helpful for you please be sure to like you can comment if you like I love to hear from you and also be sure to subscribe all right I wish you peace joy and many blessings take care